This is part 4 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the significance of the base href element in Angular. When setting up routing in our Angular application, we first define the base path using this base href element. The base href element tells the Angular router how to compose the navigation URLs. On our local development machine, we typically set it to a single forward slash like this. This means all our navigation URLs now will be relative to the root of the application. So, for example, when we click on this list navigation menu item, its corresponding path list is appended to the root URL. And the root URL here is localhost colon 4200 for slash. And along the same lines, when I click on this create navigation menu item, the path create is again appended to the root URL. So, since we have set the base href element to a single forward slash, all the URLs now are relative to the root of the application. Another important point to keep in mind about this base href element is that browser uses it to prefix relative URLs when referencing CSS files, JavaScript files, images, etc. Let's actually prove this by launching browser developer tools. At the moment, we are on the create route. Let's change the route to list so we can also see the images. We are on the sources tab and if you look at the images folder, it's inside assets and if we expand the images folder, we can see all those three images we are referencing on this page. And notice this folder is actually relative to the root URL, localhost colon 4200. And why is it relative to the root URL? Because we have set our base path to a single forward slash. Along the same lines, all our JavaScript bundle files, that is the inline bundle, main bundle, polyfills, etc., all of these are again relative to the root URL. In a bit, we'll see how things will change if we set this base href element to something else other than the single forward slash. On our local development machine, we typically set the base href element value to a single forward slash. This means all the URLs are now relative to the root of the application. However, on a production server, we typically deploy our application to a subfolder. For example, if we have deployed our application to a subfolder called EMP, then we may set the base path to EMP. When we do this, all the URLs now will be relative to that base path EMP. So, for example, if your server name is server name, then the URLs will be something like this. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash server name forward slash the base path that we have set EMP in this case forward slash and the name of the page that you are on. For example, if you are on the list page, then list. Similarly, if you navigate to the create page, then this path create will be relative to this base path EMP. Along the same lines, all the JavaScript files, images, style sheets, all of them will also be relative to this base path EMP. We'll prove that in just a bit. We already discussed during development on our local development machine, we usually set the base href element to a single forward slash. Now, if you want to set this to something else other than single forward slash, it's not enough if we just do that change within our index.html. When we run our project using the ng-serve command, we also have to use the base href option along with that ng-serve command. When I initially ran this project, I didn't use that base href option, so this is not going to work as expected. At the moment, our server is running in watch mode. So whatever changes we have saved just now, those are automatically picked up and compiled. So if we take a look at the browser, notice we don't see anything on the page. And we can see we've got five errors. So when we click on the console tab, we can see we have errors loading the JavaScript bundle files. To fix this, let's stop the server. And then let's execute ng-serve-o command along with the base href option. So we want our base href to be for slash emp for slash. There we go. Our application is working as expected. At the moment, we are on the list page. And notice that path list is relative to the base path EMP. Similarly, when we navigate to the create page, notice that path create is relative 
to the base path EMP. Now let's launch browser developer tools. Click on the sources tab and notice our images and all our JavaScript bundle files, they are now relative to this base path EMP. On our local development machine, we usually set the base href element value to a single forward slash. However, when we take our application to a production server, we may deploy it to a subfolder called EMP. When we do that, we will have to remember to update the base href element value in index.html before we deploy our application to the production server. Otherwise, it may not work as expected. And there are two ways we can do this. One way is obviously to manually update the index.html page before we deploy our application. The other approach is to use the base href option along with the ng-build command. This is going to automatically update the index.html page. Let's actually prove that. Let's change this to a single forward slash like we typically do on a developer machine. Save our changes. At the moment our server is still running. So let's stop our server. And then let's build our Angular project. Let's do a production build. So let's use ng build. And we want to do a prod build. So I'm going to use the prod option. And we also want to set the base href option. And let's set it to for slash emp for slash. And remember, at the moment within our index.html, it is single for slash. So let's execute this ng build command. Our build is complete. Now it should have generated the dist folder and the dist folder will contain our build file. So if we look in the dist file, notice here we have got our index.html and let's actually format this. So to format it, right click on it and select this option, format document. And if we look at the base href element, notice it is set to for slash emp for slash as expected. Thank you for listening and have a great day.